welcome to this course core java j2ac and here i am nitin patil i deliver you the sessions on core java but this session is based on polymorphism inside uh, we see the basic basic flow and basic meaning of polymorphism and how can i implement polymorphism in a real time project so what is polymorphism polymorphism it is nothing but a, a single method we can use in a different purpose or different ways in a sing means you can say an um, one single name you just use this name in a different for a different purpose so how how it is in a in application we will see in a small and basic example see i am going to develop a new application or a class library or it, you can say example regarding polymorphism polymorphism demo which see we have likewise file system for that purpose for demonstration of poly purpose polymorphism i'm just creating a package com dot as usual java system dot px and here i am creating one interface name as sdi bank and a bank having one default method like public void count Inside the bank interface, we have one method user account, and when we come in a bank or when we entered in bank, bank offers you you can open two type of accounts. One is saving. This is the saving class, and second one you can open current account. This user account method account remain constant. This account will be current, account will be saving, and this account method I declared inside the interface. I wanted to access this method in these two classes, saving and current account. For that, I'm just implementing the interface. SPI. This interface force to class. For implementing all abstract method, there is only one abstract method, count. Same as for saving also, implement SBI all abstract methods. We have only one method declared in our interface. So this is user account. This is the single name method used in a different ways for a current account and for a saving account. That is nothing but a polymorphism. So I am just print out inside that one. I am in saving account inside the current. I am just printing. I am in current account. Right now. I need to access this account for accessing purpose. I just using uh, you. I just developed a service class. Access account for accessing current account. I just developed public void access saving and for current purpose just develop public void. Is current. These are the two methods. From here, I can access saving account, and from here, I can access current account. For putting for for put request, I just develop one new class, main class. You can say main, or you can say main. Class. I just going to develop a main method. 
and from here I can access this. Out space one for saving account and place two for current account and third one place three for exit for taking a input from user I'm just using buffer reader buffer reader rd buffer reader pr is equals to new buffer reader the new input is string data system dot in I need to take some input like and just locally declare a variable choice choice is equals to interior dot pass int br dot red line is taking input need to put throws exception I have exception is here if user having choice one if choice is exactly equals to one then need to execute saving if again else if again I put condition choice is exactly equals to 2 then current account if there is Three choice if again choice is exactly equals to three then exit okay so here I need to access if user entered one then one for saving account I need to access saving account via access account this 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 class work as like a service via access account I can access the saving so make object of SBI reference only in access class SBI OBJ again I create SBI OBJ here I need to pass constructor from here Firstly, I need to create the object of access class access account obj equals to new access account and if you wanted to execute uh, for one saving then obj dot inside the access account there is a saving method I need to pass constructor of saving class if user press 2 I need to access current there is a current method I need to pass current account constructor okay. if there is choice 3 then exit for that system dot exit Otherwise, if user enter apart from 1, 2, 3, then need to put message like 
wrong choice see if any user enter one choice then choice is equals to one if condition is executed obj dot access saving obj is the object of access account then because of this that object our cursor will moving from obj dot access account means inside the access account class inside the access, uh, access saving method then by using obj we can call user account method and here if user having choice 2 then choice 2 if choice 2 is executed then obj dot access current means obj is an object of access account class and obj dot access current i will move from here inside the resource access account class and inside the method like access current from here i can call same method account 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 same name but different purpose like account for saving and account for current inside that one i just put message only current and saving and, and this is the interface this is the main I'll come inside the access account and using the reference variable using a casting object creation only same object right now i'm going to execute or run that program run user need to enter something like one c i'm in a saving account saving account i'm in a saving account if again i run if user put two I am in current account, current account. Again, I will run. If user press 3, then exit. If I again run that, if I will enter choice apart from 1, 2, 3, like 5, wrong choice. See, this is nothing but a polymorphism. Here, polymorphism means this, this same name method. I use that same name method in a different way. For saving account, this is the one way. And for current account, this is the another way. The single name method. Same method used in a current account, saving account, as well as used in a current account. And access account is a service class. Like I am accessing this particular saving and current account by using service class access account. Flow likewise, if I run that application, execution starting from here, user got this three kind of output, one press one for saving, two for current. If I press one, then by using buffer reader, input, we have input because of buffer reader, like one is an input stored in a choice. Choice is exactly close to one, then cursor will move inside the if block and if block having one print statement like saving account and after that obj dot access account what is obj obj is an object of access account then our cursor will moving from here here to here from here to access account and inside the access account class we have one method access saving for accessing saving account so here is an object here is a reference variable of sbi sbi is implemented by the saving if you can see then you can create a reference variable here only uh, access account SBI. This is the reference variable, or you can say object receiving receiving the information of saving class. I am sending constructor from here only. New saving means saving class method. Saving class comprised with this method. This information will moving from here to access accounts saving method of having parameter like a object. And this object right now having data or having information regarding saving class so object knows about user account available in a saving class and here we can access obj dot user account or we can call here likewise from here after calling our cursor will moving from this resource access account resource to saving because and, and execute this statement because this saving means this SBI object got saving class information or saving class saving class address from here. I am entering here. I, otherwise, I am creating constructor. 
parameterized constructor or inside the method parameter I call the constructor and here for receiving purpose I creating the object of LBI clear and then from here saving will execute likewise for current also and likewise for exit and likewise for wrong also I hope you got all the concept regarding polymorphism polymorphism means having same name but different purpose and using user account in a saving as well as in a current same name but purpose having different like current and saving are the different purpose I hope you got all the concept regarding polymorphism thanks for watching this video